I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever big welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog video in this vlog i'm going to be sorting organizing and nesting in our family home getting ready for our two new babies we are having twins boy girl twins so there's lots to do and i'm 31 weeks pregnant now and i just really feel like i've hit that nesting stage and i'm trying to get everything prepared and ready so that is what this vlog is going to consist of i really hope that you enjoy watching and i'm going to get straight into it. I thought I would vlog seeing as I turned 31 weeks pregnant yesterday so I'm so aware that these weeks are moving so quickly and I really want to document these last few weeks of my pregnancy really. I mean I should be getting induced around 38 weeks so I've got about seven weeks left now. That's if I don't come any earlier so I'm just wanting to document everything that goes by in these last few weeks. Today is actually a Sunday and I am just at home with the girls. Amora's just gone down for a nap, hence why I'm starting this vlog now. The other girls are just watching TV downstairs. Aid is currently working and I don't have a car really to get anywhere because our car tyre is so close to going bang really. It really desperately needs a change so i'm gonna have to try and get that to a garage but tomorrow is meant to be a really busy day as well i booked baby gym for me and amora so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to cancel that if i can't get the tire done before baby gym i booked a couple of sessions in for us just to start doing some one-to-one -one time together really before the babies come and just to get her out and about because since the pandemic she's missed out on a lot of things which I've done with the other girls. I've just moved you lower down onto the radiator because you're on the windowsill but I was like sat really awkwardly so this feels a lot more comfortable to speak but anyway yeah I booked baby gym and might have to rearrange that and then I booked for the evening a 4D scan. I really hope we can make it to that scan because I don't want to have to rebook it. I think I've already missed the cutoff point in weeks where it's a good time to see twins. They're probably really really squished in there at the moment so I don't even know what we'll be able to see at all on a 4d scan if we'll be able to see anything at all i've just left it quite late but i just kept telling myself if i didn't book it and just try and go i would regret it even if we don't see much because these are my last babies and i just really think i would regret not having booked one or tried to book one so obviously i want to be updating you guys on what we see in the scan hopefully some photos hopefully some video footage and i thought i would film and let you know how i'm feeling at 31 weeks pregnant in that video as well so hopefully i'll be filming that tomorrow how i'm feeling in my pregnancy at 31 weeks and also the first look at the chantry boy girl twins and then the other update we have with the car is that we have now purchased our new family car yeah we have a new car which we are picking up next weekend again i'm going to try and vlog everything as much as i can so yeah some exciting updates and i feel like everything is moving in the right direction now i'm feeling like we are really starting to prepare for the arrivals of these babies now i'm just starting to order bits i've ordered a tommy tippy perfect prep for baby bottles i ordered the most gorgeous Moses basket ever. I honestly can't wait to show you. It's beautiful. I have started to pack, I don't know if you can see behind me, some bits in my hospital bag. Again, I will do a whole YouTube video on what I've packed in my hospital bag. I also wanted to mention as well, if my hair looks not this best, it's because it really needs a wash. I haven't washed my hair since Tuesday. So Tuesday, no, Monday night because Tuesday I had my hair done so I just had my extensions refitted I had the lighter bits of my extensions taken out and I just haven't washed my hair since then it's it's okay but it does need a wash but I think tonight I'm going to do a big pamper session wash my hair blow dry it 
get some tan on and just feel a little bit better about myself it's really nice to have my hair done again and i'm just trying to wash it a little bit less so i use a little bit less heat on it and just really look after the condition of it now i've got some new hair in anyway let's get on to the point of this vlog and why i'm starting it today whilst i'm at home today i thought i would do some organizing bits I really feel like I'm starting to nest a lot, like I've just mentioned, getting things really organised and I just thought I'd bring you along with me. And if anyone's nesting, you can nest along with me or if you just needed some motivation to clean and get some bits done, then hopefully we can have a relatively productive day. <laughs> Setting myself up with some hydration for the day. I have made a lemon and mint hot drink for now and I filled up my pregnancy bottle of water it's from a company called belly bottle which is why i call it a pregnancy bottle because it's um marketed for pregnant women but you don't have to be pregnant to obviously drink from this bottle you have all of the times down the side of when you should drink your water and then on this side you have all of the stickers that you can stick on to track your pregnancy so i've got it's a girl and it's a boy for my two twins and then how far I am in pregnancy and then you have the stickers for the rest but I have been loving this for keeping me on track with my water intake and making sure I try and drink the right amount these are waterproof stickers but hand wash only so you wouldn't be able to put it in the dishwasher or else I think they would all come off this is what I'm trying to organize now so I want to create some tubs basically for the baby bottles and for baby milk one of these boxes will need to go up to be put in the hospital bag or one or two of them then the others will be stored away i've got all my containers and things here my hoover here i was actually gifted this a cordless hoover i've just got this attachment on the end because i was going to use it to hoover out the cupboards whilst we clean and clutter them and this is from Musu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I will do a whole review on this Hoover soon. I'm really, really pleased with it. I love using it, so I'm going to be using that in the cupboard. I see my spray and my cloth to clean everything out and just get organized. So, this is going to be the baby bottle cupboard, as I mentioned. And what I'm planning to do is put it in this cupboard here. So, I need to clear out this, see what needs spinning, see what's in the wrong place, tidy up where all the toaster and toaster crumbs are. Yeah, just organise it all really. Here is the before. Then there's bits all down in the back as well. It's a really deep cupboard. Before I start organising, I thought I'd explain these baby purchases to you. So they are the Mam baby bottles. I have decided I really want to give breastfeeding a try. I don't know if I'll breastfeed for that long. That's just my personal preference. If I really grow to love it, then of course I'll keep going. But I do want to do a little bit at the beginning, but I've just put bottles to prepare us just in case. I'm not putting no pressure on myself. I'm easy either way. I would just really love to give breastfeeding another go. So I went for a blue set and a pink set for baby boy and baby girl. I mean, I don't want to be stereotypical. Blue for boy, pink for girl, but they had these two colors. I think they do gray and like a cream color as well, but in the store they only had the neutral color. And I just thought this would be nice and easy to see what babies drink in what so they'd have their own set of bottles and would be able to keep track of how much formula they've had what they're drinking and would know for sure what each baby is having so it just makes it easier that way and then i have these which are perfect for your hospital bags so i'm packing these in my hospital bag and then i've got a few for at home as well because when we were trying to breastfeed amora first night everything went wrong and we just didn't know what we were doing and then at four in the morning ada ended up going to tesco's to pick up a box of these because we have a 24-hour tesco near us and we ended up feeding her these because we just didn't know what we were doing but i'm trying to prepare myself more this time i'm reading books so i know a little bit more but i did get these just in case so i'll probably pack two in my hospital bag just in case we need formula in the hospital and then i've got two for at home for spares when we come back let's try and get organizing some of this lot away what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread 
spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. for my labels to come and then I didn't show you in the finished baby bottle cupboard so I have one tub basket here for all of the baby bottles pink and blue and then I have at the moment the tiny bottles of formula with the teats in this basket here but once they move on to actual formula if we go down that route then I'll keep the formula tins in this tub here and then I'm starting to collect up some sterilizing bits in there so I've got the bottle brush a Milton baby bottle cleaner and sterilizing tablets in there sorry it's quite hard to see because it's deep in the cupboard is a star with your name one thing I know is that there should be there is no one who has a heart as pure, no, not like yours. we didn't need so much this is an idea I got from Stacey Solomon and it was the ugly mug basket so this is where we keep mugs which don't go in our main mug drawer so normally we have all our mugs in there like the nice mugs on display and then this is where the non-display mugs go Nutribullet stuff some more utensils grater egg timer and like ice cubey bits and then I've just put ice cream bits and cookie bits in here for now so yeah, that's all organised. I organised out all the cutlery, just made it all a lot more neater. Got rid of a few more bits in there too. And then we have cleaned up Amora's old Stoke high chair. Well, it wasn't old, she was using it actually, but we have got her small Ikea kids chair, which you can sit at and eat her dinner now. So we have put the newborn seat on this Stoke here ready for the newborn so this was Amora's and then we are going to get another one obviously for the other twin and then I'll wash this cover 
once we get closer to the time. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all feeling good and well. It is Monday morning now, kids have gone to school, I'm at home with Amora, she's just pottering around around me and I am going to be getting on with organising this massive pile of baby clothes here, I'll show you that in a second and I just wanted to say as well I did finally wash my hair last, no I washed it this morning so I've done it the Dyson Air app this morning so I don't know if it's going to look a little bit crazy, I always find with my hair it goes nicer the next day and also this is the first time me doing it on the Air app with the new longer hair extensions so yeah, I apologise if my hair's looking crazy. But yeah, I have a massive pile of baby clothes to go through. So this is mainly Amora's old baby clothes, like the bits that I kept that I really, really loved, just in case I was ever to have another little girl. And here I am having another baby girl. But I also have a few bits that I have bought. And I thought I'd just do a quick haul with you guys of some new items we've picked up for the babies. So I just wanted to show you the massive pile which I'm dealing with today, which I want to get organised all away. We went to Mamas and Papas on the weekend and they had a bit of a baby event on. So, but we bought a couple of things. We only bought two things on this trip and then I've got another Mamas and Papas set to show you, which I bought on a separate trip. And this trip I got a activity spiral it was 20 percent off and we're going to put this over the baby boy's car seat or baby boy's side of his pram so it's just really sweet greys yellows i've got a little star little moon on them and just really really cute and we bought that for him because we have this one from amora for the baby girl which is also mamas and papas which we bought obviously when we had Amora. So we could put this on the girl's side and on her car seat, and then he's got a matching one. Then also in the sale with these bibs, they were six pound down from 12. Pack of three bibs, also from Mamas and Papas. Really loved them, and I thought the boy needs more bibs because like I said, the girl's already got loads left over from Amora. And they look reversible as well. So you have these patterns on this side, and then underneath you have more styles so you could mix and match them so i really loved those and i love this kind of bandana style dribble bib right, i now have a more playing right next to me with some bricks so if she's quite noisy and you can hear that that is what that is but i will show you the other thing that we got from mums and papas the other day which was this set here which is a six piece set you get the hat, the bib, a vest, a baby grow, and another baby grow. And again, I thought this would be really nice for the hospital bag, old mittens as well. I thought that'd be really cute for a hospital bag or first outfits at home. I got this in petite newborn, so this is up to seven pounds. So hopefully that'll fit the twins if they're not too big when they come out. I don't know if I've showed you this or not, but how cute is this? This is from H&M and I got this one in a size two to four months because that's when summer will hit with the babies. And I just really like it. It's a very lightweight, short sleeved, short legged, nice little romper. And then also when we were in Matalan, they had a bit of a sale on and we ended up picking up a few bits in there for baby boy because as I mentioned, baby girl has that massive box already full of clothing. First of all, we got this which is down to three pound, tiny baby, and it just says a cool, like daddy, a little baby grow. I thought that was really, really sweet. Did I mention it was tiny baby? I can't remember. So again, up to seven pounds. So this will be one of the first kind of outfits we put on baby boy. We got some newborn leggings for him. They were down to one pound fifty each. So we've got the grey ribbed leggings and the green grey ribbed leggings there. Then there's a pack of these joggers. These are newborn again, seven to ten pounds, and they were down to three pounds, so essentially one pound per jogger each, which is a fabulous price. We've got a mustard dinosaur one, a grey, and then a stripy charcoal colour at the back. We've got these ribbed sets from H&M. So first of all, you get the two-piece vest set. So I got these in a one to two month. I would have preferred the smaller size, but they didn't have both sizes with the leggings in the store because I was in shop in the shop at the time. So I ended up getting the one to two months. You got like this mocha colour at the front and then a nice cream one there. So baby boy and baby girl can match with those or like mix and match together. 
And then I bought the matching leggings, which are ribbed. And these just feel really nice quality and like they'd be just really nice and soft on little babies. And I love that tiny detail on the leggings where it just says newborn. And then I already have a lot of these wrap over vests, which I bought when I had Amora. I had like the pink styles. I can't find the matching one, but as I go through the box, I'm sure I'll find it. But here was the baby girl one with the pink polka dots. And these are actually what I brought um, to hospital when I was having Amora. So these are naught to one month. So I tried to find something in H&M that I could match baby boy in whilst we were in hospital and I found these in H&M. Again, baby girl can wear these as well, no reason why she can't. So this base stripy version also comes with a cream one, which I seem to have lost in this massive box of items. But yeah, so a cream wrap over vest. These were 7 99 for a pack of two vests and then I got the matching leggings. So that was the color of the vest, which Again, I'll hunt in this box in a minute. And then they are the trousers. So I think I'll definitely be packing these in my hospital bag. Yeah, excited to put them in the bag. So that is kind of all the new bits. We actually got a few leggings and jumpers for baby boy from a car boot. I bought some other secondhand bits for baby girl. I mean, really cute cardigans. So these are all Amora's. Got cute bloomers for her, so look at that little grey top and little bloomers. Oh, we've got these grey bloomers here, these are from Zara. They're actually six to nine months, they look quite small, but again, I need to sort out all the sizes in here. Got random baby hats, so we've got quite a lot that I need to sort out, and then I just need to make a list really of what I still need to get whilst they're small, but tons of leggings all of her old shoes so we've got converse for the babies got black ones and white ones really sweet little shoes there is a lot here now we're gonna go to time lapse and i'm gonna organize all of this stuff away i mean i'm sat in a massive pile of it <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better so here is the wardrobe with everything in it so far. I might have to do a little bit more organising because the boy and girl is kind of mixed up at the moment and I need to just double check all the ages. I've kind of gone by like hanging length but I need to double check all the sizes and then hopefully I'll get some drawer dividers for in the wardrobe. And then over here I've organised 
up to here. And I've got all my muslins in here, but I might have to move these around just to make more room for baby grows. Danny, we've got like leggings, socks, older clothing, so about not to three months, next size up, bibs, and just bloomers, hats, mittens, oh. tights. You having a little look? Oh, she has a little top on, so I won't film her fully and then I had an exciting delivery today from Greener's Collective I think they're called on Etsy I ordered all my labels so they've come I'm gonna stick them on now and then I'll show you them on but look how beautiful so labels are all stuck on in our pantry cupboard and I am living for it just makes my heart so so happy so like I mentioned, these labels are from the Greeners, Greeners Collective. I'll link their page down below. They are on Etsy and I'm just so pleased with it. And I've got all my oils and sauces on a little Lazy Susan there. And then I've also labelled up in this cabinet here. So if I move back, we've got the spices. So the spice jars are from Ikea and these labels are just ones I made on my own label making machine. This step thing was from Land. And then I think the tubs were maybe Ikea, but I think b and and Hibargas do very similar. Got the labels for the formula and baby bottles, boxes. I've also put some on some cleaning bits. So we have fabric conditioner, laundry detergent. And I moved some of these. These boxes were inside the cupboards. But I've moved them out, sorry I didn't focus then. I've moved them out and I'm quite happy with how the shelves in our utility are looking. I feel like everything is starting to come together. Let me see. So that's gonna bring me to the end of today's video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that maybe it's made you feel a bit organized to get sorted in your house or you've just enjoyed watching me get organized and nesting away. I feel like I've had quite a few vlogs at home now, but we have some really fun things coming up. We're going to Peppa Pig World at the weekend, so that'll be a nice family day, and I'm hopefully gonna vlog that. Now things are starting to open up, we'll have more family days out, so hopefully it'll be more variety in my vlogs. I just thank you anyway, and I thank you for all of your support. If you do watch my vlogs regularly, I will see you all in a video very soon. Bye. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby.